In this tutorial, we'll solve your Bootstrap 5 modal close button not working. All right, so I have an example project here. If I click on the button, I get this modal. Now, if you click on this and it does not close for you, I have a couple of solutions for you. Uh, most likely, it's going to be because here in the modal, um, you're not using the modern data attribute. So you're still using an outdated version of Bootstrap, right? So we're in Bootstrap 5 now. And in Bootstrap 5, we're using data BS, right? So make sure you have BS in there. In older versions, it was data dismiss, but now it's data BS dismiss, right? So this is the actual button that you click when you want to close it. There are other data attributes as well, like data BS toggle and data BS target that you're probably using if you're working with a modal. So make sure that all the other data attributes, you can just search through your code, make sure they all have that BS in there. Okay, now if that does not solve your problem, the second solution is to make sure that you're linking properly to the Bootstrap library. So Bootstrap has two parts, a CSS part and a JavaScript part. And you can always find the latest version on their homepage. So just go to getbootstrap.com. They always show you the latest version and also the two links that you need, right? So these days, Popper.js is already included in the JavaScript. So you should not link to that separately. It's going to cause bugs, right? So just copy that and paste it here. I'm using, I'm actually pasting it here in the head. I'm using defer here, right? This is modern JavaScript. We can do that. It will not block parsing the rest of the page. And then after that, I'm linking to my own script, right? And this is the CSS, right? So it's really important that you understand the underlying fundamentals like JavaScript, but also CSS. So if you want to take those skills to an advanced professional level, then definitely check out my courses. The links are in the description. Description, right so make sure if you have if you're linking to popper for example just remove popper okay now if that doesn't work maybe you have some other element displayed on top of it this happens sometimes if you work with different elements and with different z indexes you're going to have some other element on top of it and therefore you know it will not react properly to a click because there's an other another, another element that may not be visible in between right so make sure that the modal is at the top level right maybe you can even give it a z index of very high like nine 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 and uh, really make sure it's on top. You can also right click inspect and check if there are any other elements in between. All right, now if that doesn't work, you can also use JavaScript to hide this, right? So I'm, use, I'm linking to my own script file here. Now to hide that, we need to get a reference to the modal, right? So to, to properly get the reference, we can say const my modal, and then we can use new. It's going to look a little bit strange because we have to instantiate an object here from their bootstrap class. So new bootstrap.modal. And then the ID that I have given to my modal here is called a booking modal. So I would use booking modal. Right. And then when the user clicks here, I want to close this modal. Right. So let's see that's this button. This button right here it has a class of BTN close. So I need to select that. So I can say document query selector btn close and then when there is a click on that so i'm going to listen for the click event and then i'm going to have an arrow function right modern javascript make sure you have mastered modern javascript so let me show you this so in this function that gets fired when there is a click i'm going to hide that modal my modal dot hide right so make sure you have the correct reference you cannot just use document like document get element by id or something like that that will not work with the model so you need to do it this way and then you have the reference and then on that reference you can use those methods so here i can i can call the height method when there is a click on that btn close element so i'm going to refresh here let's see if that works so now if i click here it should be hidden right and it works by the way if this was helpful i'd really appreciate it if you could like and subscribe also check out my courses on css and javascript if you want to take those skills to an advanced level because in there we will build some beautiful real world projects from scratch so you can see how everything fits together and really master css or javascript and i will also release other courses soon like react and node.js so if you want to be notified then make sure you are subscribed to the email newsletter you can find the link in the description thanks for watching and i hope to see you soon